In a previous video, we talked about the upper respiratory system that is made up of the nostrils, the nasal cavity, the pharynx and the larynx. In today's video, we will talk about the lower respiratory system which includes the trachea, the two main bronchi, the left and the right lungs, the alveoli that make up the lungs and the diaphragm. First, let's start with the trachea. The trachea is a tube basically that connects the bottom part of the pharynx that is the larynx to the lungs. That's why it's also known as the windpipe because it is the tube that supplies the lungs with air. The trachea is covered by a ring of cartilage. Now cartilage is a type of connective tissue like bone but it is much softer than bone. Now the trachea at the lungs splits into two and each of these two branches is known as a bronchus. So the trachea splits into the right main bronchus and the left main bronchus. Now mind you, don't get confused between right and left here. The right and left here is from the perspective of this person standing here. So if you are standing facing me, your right main bronchus is to your right and your left main bronchus is to your left. Similarly, your right lung is to your right and your left lung is to your left. The left lung is slightly smaller than the right lung because of the cardiac notch here. This is where the heart is located. That's why the left lung has fewer lobes than the right lung as well. Now the lungs are enclosed within the rib cage. The rib cage is made up of ribs and the middle bone that attaches the ribs is known as the sternum. This bone right here, this is the sternum. Now below the lungs is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is mainly important for breathing purposes. We will talk more about the diaphragm and how it is involved in breathing in another video. First let's focus on the bronchi and what it becomes inside the lungs. So this is where the trachea splits into the two bronchi, right? The left and the right main bronchi. After that, what happens to these bronchi? Let's look at that. So within the lungs, the left and the right main bronchi split into even smaller bronchi. So this is the left main bronchi and this is the right main bronchi, right? They have a certain diameter. Now inside the lungs, these left and right main bronchi split into even smaller bronchi known as secondary and tertiary bronchi. The secondary bronchi has a diameter smaller than the main bronchi. The tertiary bronchi has even smaller diameter than the secondary bronchi. So the diameter of the bronchi keeps decreasing as it becomes the secondary and tertiary bronchi. Now finally, the secondary and tertiary bronchi become even smaller tubes known as bronchioles. So each of these tubes that you see here in this image, these are bronchioles. And this entire structure that is made up of the two main bronchi, the secondary bronchi, the tertiary bronchi and the bronchioles, that is known as the bronchial tree. Because quite literally, this looks like a branch, right? A tree branch, right? That's why it is known as the bronchial tree. The parts of the respiratory system till the bronchi, till the tertiary bronchi make up the conducting zone of the respiratory system. In the conducting zone, no gas exchange takes place. It is at the respiratory zone where gas exchange takes place. And the respiratory zone is made up of the individual bronchioles and the alveoli or the air sacs at the end of each bronchiole. It is at the respiratory zone where gas exchange occurs. Let's take a look at how alveoli look like. So alveoli are the functional units of lungs. It is exactly the location where gas exchange that is oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged between the air and the blood in the lungs. So if you think of this as the bronchiole, each of the tinier branches that have split from the secondary and tertiary bronchi, each of this bronchiole terminates in air sacs called alveoli. Now these air sacs are like balloons. When air enters the lungs, the air sacs they expand like how a balloon blows up when you fill it with air. And when this blows up, there is an increase in surface area that makes possible for gas exchange. And the alveoli conveniently are fed with a lot of blood vessels. 
Each of these alveolus basically has capillaries that facilitate gas exchange. So at the alveoli, oxygen enters the blood from the lungs and carbon dioxide enters the lungs from the blood. If you remember, carbon dioxide is produced as a waste in cellular respiration and it needs to be exhaled out, right? But we also need oxygen to perform the cellular respiration. So when we breathe in air, finally air reaches the alveoli where from the lungs, from the alveoli basically oxygen enters the blood. Whatever carbon dioxide has been picked up by the blood from different cells is exchanged here where it enters the alveoli from the blood. And from the alveoli, the air is again exhaled or expelled out in the reverse direction through the bronchiole, through the bronchi, the main bronchus, the trachea and the nostrils. So this is the entire mechanism of gas exchange that begins in the nostrils and is ending in the alveoli that make up the lungs. We'll talk more about how we exactly breathe, how the diaphragm is involved in breathing and how exactly gas exchange takes place in another video.